Welcome back. He say, she say. I forgot what episode we on, but I know it's, it's getting up there. It is. Um, today we talking about communicating in relationships, healthy ways to communicate in relationships. Uh, a lot of times, that's a big thing that we all need to work on. Definitely Absolutely. myself. You know, communication is both nonverbal and verbal. So, you know, it's not just what you say, but it's a lot of, like, body language involved. But to start it off, we got the one and only Pooch here to uh, let us know, like, a healthy tip. A healthy tip? I I think one of the most important things when, especially if there's been a disagreement, right, and you need to talk to your significant other, um, your approach is really important. If you come at the person and you're screaming, yelling, raise your voice, all those things, you're not gonna be heard. So I, I, I have something I've used over the years. It's tone, tempo, and delivery. If your tone is off, you're gonna lose your audience. You're gonna lose the person. Tempo and the rate you're speaking, you know, that's important, right? You wanna be calm and collected. And your delivery, are you coming to me in a kind way or are you coming at me in a way where you know you're ready to fight right so easier said than done sometimes you know you're heated and this and that but also you should try to have a conversation when you're not heated calm yourself down take a few breaths whatever take some space and then come back when you're ready to actually sit down have a conversation because you're going to have a better outcome you mm -hmm. know um I also think it's important to the person who's listening to the other you know, person that they validate what they're saying. Because if you're, if I'm telling you, you know, this really hurt my feelings, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, mm, I'm okay. like, I got to hear that. Yeah. And I'm going <laughs> to, I'm clearly going to be like, he doesn't care. Right. Like that's the message I'm going to get. So, you know, lean in and be like, you know what? I'm really sorry. That, that's not what I meant didn't mean that whatever right you gotta you gotta really be the bigger person here you, can't, you gotta put away your pride so it's not about that because if you truly care about the person you're going to lean in and try to understand where they're coming from you may not completely agree but you could be like i hear you and and you know just try to give them something to know that you're not completely dismissing what they're saying i have to say that is one of the worst things for me if i am talking to someone and trying to tell them something that upset me and I'm being dismissed drives me crazy. Mm. It's, it's like, it makes my blood boil. It's like, ugh, because I'm like, because I'm, I'm frustrated because I'm like, okay, I'm not being heard. And then I'm thinking of another route to go, but you know, it's, and so you get into this whole thing, but yeah. So I don't know. What would you say for you, if you need to come to somebody to talk to them about something serious, you know, what's one thing that you would say is helpful for you as a tool to use? Well, me, I always like to, and not just when I'm talking, to, like, not just in relationships, but just in life and in general, I always like to leave from a calm place because I never want to leave with emotion when it comes to anything, not just relationships, not just, but just interacting with anybody. You never want to leave with emotion because obviously that could escalate things. Sure. And we ain't trying to make things get worse. We trying to come up with solutions, not right. problems. So I never want to leave with emotion. I've been in, in situations where I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't say I led with emotion, but it was a lot of emotion and things escalated and it wasn't it didn't even had to get that outcome, it didn't yeah. even had to get that far instead of just like like you said earlier taking a walk getting some space fresh air whatever you need to do because you never want to just leave with emotion you just always want like a clear head when you when you communicating when you discussing things um because it could just cloud your judgment and sure. you can make rash decisions that you may regret so always have like a calm cool level head and i pride myself on being like kind of pretty calm, good about that cool, collected not get too up not get too down just kind of and that's just kind of how i carry myself in general but 
especially in terms of communicating. Always talk, you know, at a at a, like a nice, you know, even, even kill tone, sure. not escalate, not yelling, not too low. You want to get your point across, obviously, but yeah. Yo, I you can definitely it. be direct when you want to be. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I call him on it all the time. No, but I feel like you, I mean, for the most part, yeah, you have mastered being calm when you speak. I'm I'm still working on that. <laughs> but I mean, I I, I tend to, um, you, you know, I'm Sicilian and I'm Italian, right? So we're passionate people. So you that you're gonna feel that sometimes when I talk, and it isn't even meant to be like negative. It's just like I'm, you know, mm. I'm trying to get it out, and it like comes across that way but it's not meant that way so yeah but it but not everybody you know can you know take that in so I have to be mindful of, of how I uh, communicate I tend to be I tend to be pretty direct mm. and um, that's not always met with a warm welcome I feel like I'm direct in a kind way but if people aren't used to having someone be direct with them they're not gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be put off by it Right. And I've had yeah. that before, so you know, but I mean, no. <laughs> and also, that brings me you can't feel attacked, you can't feel well, like right. even when a person is being true. honest with you, like it may not be, it may not be what you want to hear, but you still gotta just take it for what it is. Like, they being real with you, you can't feel attacked, you can't just ah, oh, okay, I want to speak know. to that because <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> We've had instances where he's like, I'm just being real with you. You can't. I'm like, no, you are. Yeah, yes, you will be real. But there's a, you have to. I always, I always go back to this. We have this comment. You have to be kind while you're being real. And so, but, but he's like, oh, but when I'm real, you can't handle it. But it's okay when you do it. Do we not do this? But it's fine. I mean, you know, work in progress. But yes, it's that when, when someone does feel attacked, Right, like they're gonna get defensive, and then when someone gets defensive, then what happens? Then you boom, you're off to the races, yeah. and, and 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 all the communications like boom. And that's what I'm like. Yeah, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. Exactly, and then you're like, ah, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to deal with this right now. I know, and you're like, oh, that went terribly. But right, yeah. so I just feel like being mindful of the person's feelings. Obviously, like, would I want to hear something like this? Would this make me feel good? Like a lot of people don't think before they talk. I mean, I tell this to my kids all the time, right? Because words could hurt. If you say something, you can't unsay it. And you could say, sorry, you know, I didn't mean that. But guess what? People are like, oh, he apologized or she apologized. But, you know, whatever they said, we'll maybe sit with them for a while because they're like, but did they, they said, sorry, but they, they really said that too. So you're going to kind of sit like, if someone, if you're talking to someone and they're like, you know what? I don't really care. And you're like, Ooh, they said they didn't care. Like, ouch. Like, ooh, exactly. right? Yeah. Right. So you're going to feel that, right? And so then but they're like, oh, you know, I didn't mean that. I was like, mm, they're just saying it. You know, you're going to question. So that's why it's just always a good idea to, like, think before you say it's something. It's quick to just, you know, kind of resort to cuss words and cussing each other out and calling each other out our names and this and that. But me, it's crazy. And you could attest to this. I don't cuss. You, don't. you know, when we argue, I don't cuss and I don't yell. I talk like this and I make sure you understand what I'm saying. You definitely and you get the point. Give That's me a it. look sometimes. <laughs> and I know when I get a look, I'm like, he's mad. But, I mean, because as society, a man, like, yeah. as a man, I feel like no, you've you should always hold your masculine frame. You've never yelled at me. I, I could Again, that. men shouldn't lead with emotion when it comes to communicating in a relationship. You shouldn't even have, you shouldn't even live by emotion. That's a woman thing. Well, well, I'm not saying wait, not to on, show, Jay. wait, wait, before <laughs> you get on. I'm not saying don't show emotion as a man, but I'm saying you shouldn't lead with that. You shouldn't be so emotional. You leave that to the woman. As a man, you hold your frame. And even if the woman going crazy, the woman could be, it's been plenty of times where I've dealt with some girls that they yelling and I'm just sitting here like, you are you done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to leave. Matter of fact, it's better if I just dip, wooty woo, instead of just, bah, 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 you know, I do the opposite approach. It hurts way worse. It's more cold. 
<laughs> when you well, just come, I'm trying to tell you. Well, no, but, You're not but, gonna get but a two rise people screaming me. and yelling at each other is a solve exactly. either, right? So that's what I'm saying. But yeah, no, you, you, you don't, you don't yell. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I yell at you either. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, yeah. Anyway. No, no, we don't. Moving on. But but I'm just saying. I, I feel like I come with a healthy approach. Hey, look, we're not perfect. You're not going to always have the perfect approach. But the idea is to just try to remember the other person's feelings. Try to keep your emotions under control. Healthy approach will be come with some food, something I like. Oh, yeah, I'm going to deliver you some food when I'm mad at you. No, it doesn't work that way. That's a healthy approach. (laughs) Tis is hungry right now. (laughs) Nah, but yeah, definitely just... Uh, you know, the way you communicate. So what was the, let's do a recap. Tone, tempo, and delivery. I mean, really, if you could master those three things when you're speaking to somebody, it's going to go well. Don't leave with emotion. Now, another thing you have to remember is you have zero control over how the person reacts and try not to take it personal because that's their stuff. Now, that's (laughs) easier said than done. Because I'll tell you right now, (laughs) I'm not good at that. I get I, I get my feelings hurt a little easily if I'm if I'm pouring my heart out to you and then you come back with hmm okay or all right I hear you I'm be like that's it that's all you said like <laughs> over here like I just told you all this but you know so yeah I feel like you have to really kind of remember that not everybody is going to respond how you want them to and how you expect them to. And that, that's that's hard because, you know, sometimes you're expecting them to give you this great feedback and you're like, okay, that didn't go how I wanted it to. So lower the expectations as far as expecting people to react how you would expect them to or want them to. I think that's important. Very important. Yeah. So, important. I mean, I'm, other key points, I mean, I think we talked about listening, how, how important it is to listen. Don't listen to respond listen to actually hear what the person has to say. Because a lot of times we're so we, we're so quick to respond or defend ourselves and, and oh, you know, I didn't do that or no, da, da, da. And it's like, you know, you're not hearing me. It's not about uh, who did what or this. It's, you know, so yeah, that's another important thing, I think. Um, I don't know, can you think of anything that's I think we beneficial? pretty much covered enough. I think we did. For this video, we ain't got to go into the whole essay. <laughs> but those were just, you know, like a few things that could probably help you communicate a little bit smoother. You know, it's some other things, of course, but. Yeah, there's, I mean. As far know, as this video, that's the thing yeah, that, you, just, you know. You got to practice it too, right? Like, it's just, and you also have to know a little bit about the person you're going like how you got to know a little bit about the person. I think that helps how they're going to receive information and how they'd like to receive it. I think that's important. You're not going to always know because you know you could it could be a work situation, right? And you need to talk to somebody about something serious, and you know, so you don't really know the person that well. But yeah, there's different scenarios. But lead with a kind heart. Be genuine. Be have your intentions. Be pure, and honestly, you can't lose. That would be my advice. Well said, well said. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. If you got anything you want us to talk about, feel free to comment down below. Go check out the TikTok, Wolf and Pooch. Go go follow us on that. We're we're adding content every now and again. We we gotta get better about that. But um, yeah. More fire coming. Stay tuned.